Bio. Uh, I think I get my Switch today, hopefully. I hope, I hope, I hope. I hope. Hey, Grey Jumpers, thanks so much. Three months. Oh, we didn't get a little ahead of yourself. Getting a little ahead. So the Oscars happened. I love the Oscars, everyone. Um, it's a tradition in my house. I love watching them. Absolutely love watching them with my, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend. Whatever. Just love watching them. Um, I thought it was a great year for movies. I thought it was an absolutely fantastic year. Um, I said in the episode that I'm usually rooting so hard for like one or two movies. And that was kind of the case with Arrival and Hell or High Water. But all of the nominees, all nine movies, I cannot stress enough how good they all are. All of them. I, 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 it's hard to find someone who has seen one of those nine movies or more and talk trash on them. Except La La Land. La La Land gets the most hate. And it's, it's been the most seen out of all the movies. What, is it, what does that say? There's something there. <laughs> it's the one the most people have seen and the most people hate. Enjoy Hell or High Water, Kavko. One of the greats. Well, I'm going to take because it's big. Yeah. It's a divisive movie. It is. Um, you know, uh, living in... Nice. Dark Knight. Dark Knight saw Logan. 10 out of 10. Um, oh, excuse me. Living in Hollywood, living in Los Angeles, and growing up my whole life with... Friends and colleagues who have tried to make it in the entertainment business, um, you know, La La Land was a slap in the face to them personally. The people that haven't made it. I have friends trying to be screenwriters, I have friends trying to be actors, directors, cinematographers, and none of them have made it. And, you know, that was the reason they didn't like La La Land. You know, and, and the, the Academy likes it because they've all made it. They've all made it. So they're patting themselves on the back. Hey, La La Land. <laughs> Kafka just subscribed. Twitch Prime, thanks so much. Um, again, so many good movies. Oscar recap. Um... I don't want to. I don't want to dip my feet into this. I heard like Casey Affleck has all this controversy, and that's too bad. Because I enjoyed Manchester by the Sea, and uh, I enjoyed his performance. But uh, you gotta, you gotta be like sketchy to even be allegedly what happened to him. Again, I don't. I don't want to get into that, but it's unfortunate. It's sketchy. Uh, Emma Stone, though, well deserved. I, I, the La La Land is one of my least favorites out of the nine. I know it gets a lot of hate, but I thought she was, I thought she, like, going in, it was the only guarantee of the night was that Emma Stone would win. <laughs> so, yeah. Loved Emma Stone in that movie. Denis, Denis Villeneuve. The knee, not Denis. Hubert Denis Villeneuve is pronounced the knee Villeneuve. Didn't get to see El Yoshimiyu. Hey, thanks. I, I made it. Thanks, Light Sniper 60. Flagship Fighter, I love you too. There's so much love and respect right now. I love every all of you. Anyone who tunes into Talking Syndrome, like... 
You are my heart and soul. Straight up. If you join me week in, week out, I love you. Um, the Wolf Fox, good call. Nice Guys got no love at the Oscars. The Nice Guys, you know, that's what I'm worried. Yakuza 0 is going to be the Nice Guys of 2017 and get no love when Game of the Years come around. Because the Nice Guys got shafted. Gay Vulture. Hugh, when was the last time you absolutely hated a film based on its script and execution? Last movie I hated. Um, I hated The Lobster. Absolutely hated it. Can't stand the movie. Thought it was pretentious. Filth. Ian loved it. Some others loved it. My friend loved it. My friend, my friend hated me, yeah. Didn't like it. I know, I know. I'm in the minority on that one. I respect it. I respect it. It's like a puzzle game for me, you know? The Lobster. I apologize. I'm so sorry. I mean, no ill will or disrespect. I personally just didn't... Okay, here, here's where I'm coming from. I personally did not relate or connect to any character in the film. Back. But I, I respect it for people to dig. The Lobster did have laser puzzles. Yes. <laughs> it's not everyone's cup of tea. Exactly. Which is weird because, I, again, I like all kinds of movies. I love slow, art house, ambiguous films. You know, give me some, uh, like, melancholia and whatnot. Uh, what's his face? Lars von Trier. David Lynch, give me all of them. But uh, yeah, the lobster, I just couldn't couldn't connect. Uh, Pokemon games, what do you think of Marcella Ali winning supporting actor? He was great, but I thought literally everyone else nominated. It's so funny you mention that supporting actor. If you go and you look back on the nominees, I want to uh, I want to talk about this category actually. Really want to talk about this category. It was the most intense category of the entire night. Absolutely, supporting actor was the closest and the most intense. So it was Lucas Hedges from Manchester. He was incredible. Dave Patel, Lion. Michael Shannon, Nocturnal Animals. Uh, Marcella for Moonlight. And who am I forgetting here? I'm forgetting somebody. This list is trash. There's someone else. That's it. Got them all. Pretty, pretty wild. Jeff Bridges, Heller High Water. Unreal. Crazy. Loved uh, loved that category. Was pulling for everyone in that one. Didn't care. Did not care. And and I remember coming out of Moonlight saying how much I loved him. And, and sure, he wasn't in that much. But I remember immediately coming out of the movie and I was like, he had impact. Big time. Uh, so what are some of your favorite movies of 2016? Oh. The troll at the end with La La Land. Again, La La Land gets a lot of hate, but no one deserves that. Come on now. Whew. Brutal. Brutal troll. Have you seen the timeline of events of the uh, the envelope and the, the guy on his phone and, and who was in charge of the best picture envelope? People sleuthed it up. There's a, a timeline of events. It's crazy. Like, 11.05, the time on, yeah, it's probably a variety, it's so good, it's so good. Oh, that's harsh. Q, 
Kiefer, do you think that if Kubo was released by Disney, it would have won an Oscar? Um, no, I think Zootopia deserves it so much. It was a phenomenal movie. It had a really good message, too. Um, I think it was funny. It was heartwarming. Zootopia is, an, Zootopia is a masterpiece. I just personally loved Kubo as well. And I, too, think it's a masterpiece. But uh, like Highlander, you know, there can only be one. I would see Zootopia immediately, Gay Vulture. Immediately. Tonight. Watch it tonight. Dark Knight, favorite 2016 movies, Arrival, Kubo, and Zootopia. See? Kubo and Zootopia. Dark Knight, you're proving the point. Thank you. <laughs> Which movie made me cry the most? It was um, Lion, for sure. Lion, bring your tissues. Bring them all. Bring boxes. <sighs> it's brutal. It's brutal. Manchester by the Sea was the most depressing. Pillar High, High Water was the most awesome because I love bank heists. Arrival was just the most mesmerizing. La La Land was the most. Uh, yeah, well, it was jolly, I guess. It was the most chill. I don't know. I don't know what La La Land was. <laughs> Kubo is probably my favorite of 2016. Tough to choose though. Kubo, dude. Kubo. I wanna, I'm watching Kubo tonight. Hugh, you've seen Rafifi, best heist movie ever made. One of the best heist movies ever made, hands down. Uh, yeah, unreal heist. Don't spoil it for anyone. I forced, ask Brandon Jones, I forced him at game trailers to watch that movie. He liked it. I was like, you're watching this, Jones. Because I think he and I were talking about like Michael Mann and uh, Heat. But yeah. I think that The Boy and the Beast should have won Best Anime Feature. I don't even know what that is, uh, Epic Curbs. The Boy and the Beast. Didn't see it. The Broken Circle Breakdown. Maganoff. Dude, that's ringing some bells. That sounds so familiar. The Broken Circle Breakdown. What is this movie? Oh my god. I have seen this movie with my friend Solomon. Dude, and this movie had really good music. The Broken Circle Breakdown. I saw this at the West Park 8th Theater. What a call. Great film. Great movie. When was that? 2012. Life is flying by, everyone. Just enjoy every minute. Enjoy Zelda. Enjoy him. You know, I want to talk about side quests for a second. I want to rant here about side quests. Stay tuned for a future episode of Huber Syndrome talking about side quests. You know, if they're good, if you're enjoying them, if you're enjoying a game, why rush through it? Why rush through it because you have a backlog? Why rush through because everyone is talking about another game that is in your backlog that you're not playing? Just enjoy the one you're on. Life's too short. Just enjoy it. That's all. Expect future conversations about that. You know, Yakuza Zero, great example. Took my sweet time. Just took my time with Yakuza Zero because it's some of the most beautiful, well done side quests I've ever played in a game. So good. You know, everyone's talking about Neo. Everyone's talking about Kingdom Hearts, Horizon. It's like, you know what? I'll get to it when I get to it. I'm enjoying my cabaret club. I'm enjoying my real estate. Take your time with Horizon, honestly. Just enjoy it. It's a good side quest. Love the one you're with. <laughs> Yakuza Zero came for the fighting stage for the Mahjong. Oh, the dice game? 
Unreal. I gotta, oh man, I gotta show Don that dice game. Yeah, get my Switch today or tomorrow. Nilan, it's a great point. Hubert, you're always rushing us to watch movies and play games. I know. It's my fault. I'm sorry. But right here, right now, take your time. Just, just take your time. That is the beauty of TV and movies and why I am almost always caught up. Is because you sit down and when you get up, you're caught up. Sit down, get up, caught up. That's the pre trick there. It's the motto. You sit down, you watch the movie. By the time you stand up, you finish. You're caught up. You don't need to play. You don't need to play some 70-hour thing. That's it. I'm one behind on Legion, though. One back. Yo, is anyone caught up on Expanse? Favorite 2017 movie so far? We'll go right into it. I think it's Get Out. I think it's Get Out. We're going into major spoiler talk, everyone. Thanks for joining. I haven't seen John Wick 2 yet. We're talking about Logan and Get Out, the two best movies of 2017 so far. Thanks for joining, everyone. If you want to bounce, I love and respect you. I'll see you next week. But we're getting into it. We are getting into it. I'm giving everyone time here. Everyone just relax. No spoilers yet. Love you all. Love you so much. Big warning. Everyone just chill for a sec before we dive in. We're doing Get Out and then Logan. So everyone just... Love and respect everyone. Love and respect. See you next week. Don't like Marvel, so I guess I'm out. Love and respect. Oh. Wave when you hit Logan. Yeah, I'll give a... I'll give a... No. I'll give a clause. When we're talking about Logan. So just mute until then. Don't like good movies. Oh, no, Gaucho Cam. I'm sure you like good movies. Got your ticket for Logan tonight. It's excellent. All right, everyone, we're going into it. Uh, get out. Get out. Hype. Okay. So first of, all, first of all, Ian and I always joke around about when people say pacing issues. It's like our inside joke. Because, um... I forget what movie it was, but Omar saw a movie that Ian and I loved to death, 10 out of 10, and, and sharing a 10 out of 10 with Ian Hank is one of the best feelings on earth. It's so satisfying. So Ian and I saw a movie and it was a 10 out of 10, and then Omar saw it and was like, yeah, it had like pacing issues. <laughs> so ever since, pacing issues has become just like this blanket ambiguous casual critique of a movie to just like say you didn't like it uh it's like saying a game it's like oh it has good graphics so i, I don't know it's it just it's just basic for me which brings me to get out which brings me to get out okay this movie was a dream it was I sat down in my chair, and for an hour and 45 minutes, I didn't blink, I didn't breathe, I didn't think about anything other than the movie. It was so beautifully paced, I sound like Bossman now, it was so beautifully paced, and the mystery just kept peeling back slow and steady 
slow and steady. It was unbelievable. Oh, my. Oh. I realize people might be tuning in at 11.30 right now. So we're talking about get out, everyone. Everyone be careful. What do you think, chat? Uh... I, I just thought it. I thought it was, it was so like I, I the ninety nine or one hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I immediately came out and was like, I can't find one bad thing about that movie. It just felt so perfect, especially for what it is. You know, it, it, there's there's surface level critique of it. And there, there there's so much depth with the the racial undertones, the racial overtones. Uh, it was, it was a beautiful movie. And I don't think it was that scary. I think if you're not into horror movies, uh, people do say it's perfect. Yeah, I can see that. It felt like coming out of the theater when, when the credits rolled, I was like, I just went on a Six Flags Magic Mountain roller coaster and it was perfect. Yeah. Oh, it's a Toy Story 3 situation, of course. There's one bad review. I exactly like Toy Story 3. Same thing. It's always got to be someone. Let me turn my brightness up. Um, yeah, but I, I loved it. It really should be a, a certified. I, it, it felt flawless, you know? It felt like anyone could see that movie and just be pumped. There we go. Perfect intent. All right. We are talking about Logan. Who the hell saw Logan. I want to know. Logan. Logan, baby. How far we've come. How far we've come, chat. <laughs> it's a long time ago. It's been a hell of a ride. 17 years, you know, there's been some ups and downs. There's been some ups and downs. But like... Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. <laughs> Can't get enough credit, you know? Even with even with the downs. Even with the downs, okay? X-Men Origins Wolverine is the only one that is terrible. And you can't even be mad at Hugh Jackman because he gives it a, gives it his all. What a send-off. What a freaking send-off. It was unreal. And it was so, it was such a subtle movie. And like, Chad, did you have the same reaction as me coming out of the theater? Like, everyone's talking about emotions, right? I came out of that movie, like, okay, when you come out of a Marvel, a normal Marvel movie, or like, I don't know, when you come out of, of a, like a, I'm trying to think of a recent one. Probably John Wick. When I came out of like John Wick 1 or, or other superhero movies, I'm like feeling good, you know? I'm like happy. I'm like, hey man, that was so fun. Like, oh, great. When I came out of Logan, I felt so weird. I felt weird. Because it wasn't a fun movie, you know? Like there were fun parts, dude. When, when Wolverine... 
is letting out his 17 years of frustration that none of them have been rated R until now when he's hacking people to bits. I'm stoked. Feel the kill. Feel every kill. But when I came out of that theater, like, I didn't know what to say. Because I wasn't hyped. Uh, like, initially coming out. Because I, th I was, like, hurt, dude. I was hurt. I was sad. Yeah, it's saying goodbye, Huber. That's the thing. It was. It was saying goodbye. Oh, my. I'm getting emotional right now thinking about it. I'm getting chills. Like, I can't even... I can't even handle it. I can't even handle it. You know, let me add something here. Just in case ever anyone's coming in. Just in case anyone's joining us late. There we go. Just in case anyone's coming in late. Logan Eccles. Chat, do you like Logan Eccles? Or Logan Huntsberger? Dude, the clip it's the X on the grave. It hurt. She was incredible. She wrecked everyone's lives. I could, I, like, when it was over, I was like, okay, I, like, I get, yeah, I'll, I'll see a whole movie of, with her. Sure. Why not? 100%, I'll, I'll go. Now, now it's time for the start off the wall. Sorry everyone couldn't be involved earlier. It's finally time. Straw poll coming. Straw poll coming. Is Jackman really done? Is he done? Is he out? Will he make a cameo? Will he pass a torch to anyone? I mean, he basically did pass the torch to her. Is he done? He, Jackman? Jackman's intent, dude, is leaving. Dude. Morgan, Morgan, God. Deadpool cameo, boys. Wow. He might be in Deadpool too, but not even as Wolverine. Oh. Oh my god, that Deadpool 2 thing in the beginning was so funny. I thought it was going to be a flashback of the movie or something. Like like a little prologue with him and Wolverine and Deadpool teaming up. They got me. I really thought it was going to happen. 75% say yes, Jackman is dead. That Deadpool 2 prologue, I, I seriously thought him and Wolverine were just going to tear people apart. Didn't happen though. Also, the marketing for this movie, uh, Resident Evil 7 levels of professionalism from Marvel marketing this movie. The only trailers showed desert, hit, like, everyone thought this was so far in the future that, like, the humankind was, like, extinct almost. 
super post-apocalyptic, and it wasn't. It wasn't. Like the 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 marketing for this movie was incredible. They really respected it. They didn't. Sh- they showed like a portion of Act One in the trailers only. Marketing was so classy. Yeah. Can't get Mario Kart. That was all Fox. Good call, Zen Davis. Good call. Marketing was top notch. And the very first word said in the movie is fuck. It's Logan waking up in the back of the limo, hungover, saying the F word. It's like, yep, took 17 years to get here, but we're rated R, baby. You know, he did have that first class cameo or whatever when he told him to F off, but yeah. Man, Patrick Stewart just depressed the hell out of me. Like, when he's getting wheeled out in in Vegas, apologizing to everyone, like, that scene, gut-wrenching. Gut-wrench suplex. It hurt. It really hurt. Um, Also, chat, do we know, like, what... You know, they teased it, but do do we know really what happened? How he killed the X-Men? Like, do we know? The hotel scene. Unbelievable. Like, do we know how, what happened? What were the themes of Logan? What was the point of it all? Well, it was... Like, killing your past. Redemption. You know, I mean, that was overt. X-24. Superhuman getting Alzheimer's will kill you. Yeah, I guess he just, like, exploded, huh? Yeah, the adamantium poisoning. How does Dragon just kill Yeah. I just would have liked to have known more, maybe. But actually, I don't. You know, I wanted to bring that up, Chad. That was another thing that I loved, was that they didn't really talk about other X-Men. No silly Magneto or anyone showed up at the end at Eden, you know, and there was no post credit scene. Yes. Good. You know, this movie was about Wolverine. It was about Logan. And that's it. It's not part of some grand scheme, some huge universe. Like, it was in the film series, but it was standalone. Serious. You know, I've said in the past that when people go to see the MCU movies, which I love, okay, I'm the biggest fan. Every episode of Age of S.H.I.E.L.D., every episode of the Netflix shows, every movie, I own them all down in there. Love the Marvel Cinematic Universe to death. Uh, But, you know, sometimes I can't help but feel like going into those movies... I'm just waiting for the post-credits tease. Sorry, I'm just waiting for the tease to set up the next one or to show Thanos or whatever the hell. You know? So. Yeah, Logan. It's about Logan. It's not even about the Wolverine. It's about him. David Harbour is Cable, yeah. I really liked, uh... I really liked Adam Jensen in this movie. Whoever that actor is, he was amazing. He had, uh... He had a presence, you know. Loved it. He was great. And was X-24 actually Jackman? It looked so, He looked so young and, and good. It, it looked like a, like a Terminator Salvation CGI situation. I was like, yo, is he real right now? Is this Grand Moff Tarkin? Yeah, he's going to be a Predator for sure. Hell yeah.
Yeah. It was Jack. Yeah. I was like, I was like, dude, Jackman looks so different right now. He looks so young. How do you even look this young? Like, what potion are you drinking, Hugh Jackman? Man. Oh my god, Beaner Boulevard, yes. Children of the Corn. All the kids staring down doing their power. Oh my god, it was incredible. It was incredible. Children of the Corn, what a call, what a call. That's a syndrome right there, baby. <laughs> so this is what it feels like. Now was he talking about love there, obviously? Because, I mean, I, I try to think back, and it's like, yo, he loved Gene. Gene! He loved Gene, right? So, but it wasn't a true love, maybe? He didn't really know. Like, this was straight up true, protective, maternal, parental love. Love and death. Deep. Deep. Both. Yeah, family love. Family. Man. God, I loved that movie. God, I loved it. There's so much to dive into, too. Seeing it again, like... I need to see it again. I need to see it a second time. And just think. It was so nuanced. All the, the connection with him and Professor X, like... Professor X... See you in a second time, for sure. All right, everyone. It's excellent. You know, I think of, uh, I think the only really filler one is X-Men Origins Wolverine. It's, it's filler in my mind. They can call it canon if they want, but I'll just disagree. I think they've kind of like steered this unmovable ship uh, in the X-Men timeline and somehow made it right again. I would have given him an Oscar. Hands down. Hands down. Hugh Jackman's like best performance. Um, it's always my favorite kind of characters. Uh, I love watching characters like that in movies. Characters seeking redemption. Characters that have lost all hope and drink themselves into oblivion. Just always pouring a drink, always taking a shot, sipping on whiskey, looking for redemption. That last speech is the peak of his career. Jackman's intent. Jackman's intent. Straight up. All right, everybody. That's gonna do it for uh, Talking Syndrome. Hope you had fun. Hope I didn't spoil anyone unintentionally. But uh, that's gonna do it. I love you all, love and respect. I'll see you next week, you know? Um, Jackman's intent. It's Jackman's intent, everyone. Uh, I'll go play some Zelda or Horizon or uh, watch some good movies. Love you all. See you later, everyone.